Henry Nyakarundi, welcome to Africa 54. Man, thanks for inviting me uh, on the show. At the last time we talked, uh, you were working on a kiosk. Uh, you had uh, literally just started uh, working on this uh, a smart solar kiosk in uh, Kigali, Rwanda. Uh, bring me up to speed. What have you been up to? Yeah, so when we first met, we were focusing uh, on just uh, energy. So we had developed this solar kiosk platform to provide phone charging services. Today, we, we've evolved the technology much further. Now, we, we, we also do phone charging, but we're mostly focusing on connectivity. So in the meantime, uh, we develop what we call an a edge solution on the mini server. So the idea now of the kiosk is to becoming a one-stop shop access to not just phone charging, but also access to digital applications using Wi-Fi. So user, especially low-income people, can access information on their phone without having internet on their phone. And that's really what our new value proposition is. Uh, and then the good thing is now we've been able to expand uh, we're in four countries right now. We, we're adding two countries this year. But on the technology side, that has been the biggest change. Why would one want to come to your kiosk as opposed to going to MTN or Airtel? You get the same service as MTN or Airtel, plus more. Airtel and MTN don't have Wi-Fi connectivity or edge technology. They don't have phone charging services on, your key, on their kiosk. So, you know, uh, the value is right there. Now, you can get all your services from one location. And we even added now government services where you can pay your taxes, so on and so forth. So it's a, it's a true one-stop shop. So if you're a customer, you come to a kiosk, you want to charge your phone, that's great. But let's say you need to buy airtime or you need to transfer money, you can do that also. Let's say you want to download content or see, you know, or, or check the news or so on and so forth. You can do that also. So we really wanted to build a one-stop shop for digital access. How do people access those services? Or do they have to come to that kiosk for them to be able to access uh, the news, for example, or anything, any content online? Or there is a way they can tap into your Wi-Fi connection uh, to be able to do that uh, remotely without being able to come to your kiosk? No, so it, it, it's, a, it's a connectivity on the go, we call it. So it's, it's really for people that are in public places, you know, when you're waiting for your bus, if you're in a marketplace while shopping, um, anywhere there's a high traffic of people, uh, whether it's in rural areas, semi-urban area, or refugee camps, that's where we focus on. We don't focus on home connectivity. We really focus on connectivity on the go, while you're on the go. And of course... Uh, the, the Wi-Fi radius is about 100 meter, so you don't need to be very close, uh, but you have to be on that radius. Is it a free service? Some of them is free, some of them it's not. It depends what service you're talking about. Uh, the Wi-Fi access is free, but uh, we generate money through on the on the business level. So businesses use our platform to distribute what they want to distribute on our Wi-Fi platform. Your goal is uh, to. Uh, revolutionize uh, how uh, technology is uh, uh, distributed, especially when it comes to uh, these uh, uh, phones that we use uh, or simple things that we do every day. Can you speak more about that? You know, what we're trying to do is connect the unconnected. You know, in Africa, statistically, 70% of the population are still not connected to the Internet or still not using the Internet. That's a huge number. If you look at business today, e-commerce, um, digital money, because mobile money use uh, USSD, but digital money needs internet. All this internet business are focusing on the 30%. And that's the challenge. Everybody's focusing on the 30% of the population that is connected. The middle class, you know, uh, or, or, or lower middle class. But there's 70% of the population not connected. And that's where we're focusing on. Our goal is to connect the unconnected. It's a huge market, but it's a very challenging market because it's not just about connectivity. It's about educating the people about the connectivity you're providing. It's also, you know, it's, so it's a, it's a, it's a very long-term investment uh, uh, structure. And that's, that's what we, we, we do at ERED. Well, Henry, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time. Man, thank you, Paul, man. Always a pleasure, man, talking to you, man.